Hello there everybody, my name is Dustin with uh, Optimal Reject. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Murder at Masquerade Manor. Uh, I downloaded it off of Game Jam a couple days ago and never really got around to playing it. So here it is. Uh, from what it looks like, it's like a, like a 3D Clue. And for those of you that know me, Clue is my shit. Uh, if you play me and Clue, you're going to lose. It's been way too much time playing that board game. So hopefully I'm really going to like this game. So I guess let's go ahead. Inspector, you are invited to attend Mr. White's annual masquerade. <laughs> Mr. Party. White, even closer to clue Formal than I thought. dress and mask are required. Of course, there's well, masks. Here we are. I suppose I should find Mr. White and thank him for the invitation. Okay. Uh, if you couldn't tell, this game was made in Unity. Uh, <laughs> interpret that how you wish. I usually don't try to hold anything against Unity games, so... Yeah. Alright. What is this? Aha! It's covered in blood. I bet this blood. is the murder weapon. There's nobody over here. How did it get over here? Well, I don't even know what that was. How do I... I guess it's my webcam overlay. How do... Okay, an ice pick. Alrighty. So what did that tick every innocent? Okay, so I'm assuming this is like a logic problem, where I guess with every piece of information I get from looking around the manor. Okay, so by process of elimination, I should be able to find this too. Um, hear music. I guess we'll, uh... Alright, we'll just stand around his, uh, dead body here. <laughs> oh, Mr. White, he's been murdered. Everyone here is a suspect. I should speak to everybody to see if I can find out who did this. It looks like he's been stabbed to death, so I should see. If I can find the murder weapon. Better watch my back, though. There's a murderer on the loose. So, yeah. I guess somebody's good. <laughs> well, that's awfully suspicious. That dude's like, alright, fucking I'm out. Let's see, can I How can I help you, Inspector? Uh, so, yeah. I guess... Uh... <laughs> Where were you and who were you with? Uh, well, you were here in this room with every bitch were you? Trying to do detective work here. Fuck I was off. in the, the library. Both Scaramouche and the, the cat were there, but I didn't speak to either of them much. Okay. So I guess two people I gotta talk to are Scaramouche and the cat. I don't know if it helps, but the jester was holding an ice pick earlier. How convenient. An ice pick. Who do you think? The it devil. Is? been a bitter rival with Mr. White for a long time. Both of them have been at each other's throats for years. But I never would have thought it would come to this. If you know that they've been rivals... Oh yeah, open present. <laughs> that would have been useful earlier when I found the ice pick. Uh, so, if he knows that they have been bitter rivals and at each other's throat for years... I mean, you'd think he'd know his name and said he's just the devil. I was in the library, talking to the cat. There was somebody else in the room, but I can't remember who it was. Well, that other person was... The Anonymous? Which, uh... A little myth that they said that, because it's not... I mean... Isn't it called a Guy Fox mask? Doesn't that have some sort of... I mean, I'm not British, but, I mean... At least they're not calling it V. Like, I guess that helps. At least the oh, it's a V for Vendetta mask. So, there's a silver lining to everything. So, that's a lot of people to talk to, and I'm not gonna lie, I have a short attention span. So, who is this sc scaremush? Can I help you, Inspector? Just. You know what? 
You only live once. Or twice, or... I mean, it depends on which, uh, which religion you are. <laughs> How many times you live. Do you want to reveal Scaramouche just the murderer? Yeah. Well, I wasn't the murderer. World's worst detective right here. Now is the slow search for the body. I I don't understand. You just heard somebody get murdered to death. You're like, nah. I'm just gonna leisurely pace it there. Okay, so he's in here. So the murder weapon's not in the same place. Figured it was worth a shot. Randomly generated. Okay, yeah, he's been stabbed to death, talked to people. Could have been, but uh, it's not. I was in the lounge, talking to the Harlequin. There was somebody else in the room, but I can't remember who it was. Um, the Raven was arguing with Mr. White earlier. Maybe that means something. So, one thing that I'm picking up from this game right now is that it would be very helpful if they gave me a map, because what it appears like right now is all I have is my journal. So, he said he's in the lounge. I don't know what that is, and I hope it doesn't matter. How can I help you, Inspector? I was in the lounge with the Harlequin and the, the Anonymous. Okay, so that checks out. I don't know why at the time, but I'm sure I saw the Raven with the corkscrew sometime before the incident. I really don't know. I'm sorry, Inspector. Okay, so he I was, was in the with, lounge the with the Harlequin and, and the, the Anonymous. So. My uh, detective skills here are reasonable, but I'm just gonna go out on the limb and say Scaramouche, the Harlequin, and the Anonymous are, uh, are innocent. I proved to be proved to be a shitty detective so far, uh, but you know what? At least at least I'm not randomly calling something out. Being more diligent. Can I help you, Inspector? I was in the lounge with the Harlequin and the Anonymous. <laughs> and that just kind of threw a whole wrench in my line of uh, logic here, because I was thinking this would be like a logic problem. So, let's say she says she's in the lounge of the Harlequin and the Anonymous. Check with them, and you're like, oh yeah, she was totes there. Well, then I can mark all three of them off. But now she's saying, I was in the lounge of the Harlequin and the Anonymous, and she hasn't named anybody else, any other people. So does that mean it's just coming down to choosing who to believe? I don't understand, because other than the murder weapon, I don't have evidence to go on. To me, you know, it's it doesn't like, seem um, normal to carry a screwdriver around, does it to you? Well, the doctor was doing just that. Okay, I guess I'll talk to the doctor. Uh, but yeah, so apparently it doesn't seem reasonable for him to, I don't know, carry around a cell phone, call emergency services, you know, nobody even, nobody even checked to see if he was alive. Can I help you, Inspector? Not the doctor. Um, for all we know, it's some sort of, uh, first aid, CPR, whatever you call it, shit. People who know more than I do. Uh, he could have been saved. And, you know, that, this was, this whole thing, I believe, this whole game is, like, a statement on the bystander effect, you know? See something, say something, do something. You know, don't don't let a man just sit there and die. If you ask me, all these people, they're not all just suspects. They're all equally guilty. 
Any one of them could have saved them. Just my two cents, y'all. Pretty sure none of that made. Oh, shit! He has no eyes. That's never not gonna creep me out. I mean, is he just sitting there waiting for me to talk to him? Is he <laughs> eyeballing me because I'm the inspector and he wants to kill me? I don't know. He's creeping me out. He's got those dark, soulless eyes. How can I help you, Inspector? Staring into my soul. With every every second he stares at me, just a piece of my soul is just <sighs> He's just siphoning my soul. Like out of the Mortal Kombat movie when Shang Tsung's just draining the soul from that dude and anyway. I hate to admit it. I have no alibi. I was in the study on my own. Well, he admitted it. You know. That's uh honesty's the best policy. I'm, I'm gonna give this creepy ass doctor a little bit of credit. At least he's not trying to lie to a uh, professional inspector. Oh my gosh. Alright. The fuck are you staring at? How did he even get here? I gotta go I gotta go back and look at what I recorded because I swear to god it was just I walked in here and there was the doctor and there wasn't this dude and he honestly he's even creepier than the doctor. I mean just look at his eyes. Look at him. I will never not have him in my sight. Where's the door? You did it! I know you did, you son of a bitch! Can I help you, Inspector? Oh, well, he's being polite. I mean, this is already for a game, this is a cool concept that, as far as I know, hasn't been really implemented. Uh, I can't really think of a game, I mean, Clue, but like a video game. I haven't seen a video game that had anything kind of anything remotely similar to this mechanic. Now that being said, uh, if for some reason this was expanded into a full game, it would be really cool to kind of maybe see the idea that, again just throwing something out there, that uh, there could be more than one killer. Because you know, he just, I don't know why I just had the idea, but you know, the jester just said he and the uh, the devil were in like the conservatory, which by the way, clue. Uh anyway. It just seems like it would be a really cool idea to have multiple killers because, you know, if they can independently verify each other's stories, then that gives them some credit and they don't immediately seem suspicious. So it would be really cool if yeah, they weren't lying, but also they they both ganged up on them and kill them. So if this ever is expanded into something, and again, I really hope it is, because uh, so far this is pretty bu pretty fun. It's it's kind of scarce so far, but you know, I mean, this seems like a game maybe made by like one or two people, and for what they've done, it's a really cool concept, and so far it works. I mean, things could be a little bit more clear, but you know, maybe I played it enough. I know that on this on this YouTube channel, I don't have a lot of these, a lot of video games posted, but I've actually been on YouTube for a couple of years. This is just a new channel I started, so I've actually played a lot of these, you know, free-to-play Unity indie games, and I mean, a lot of them, especially after Slender came out, were just, you know, Slender this, jump scare that, you know, and so it's kind of really fun to see a game that is both effectively uh, creepy like this is. Now, perhaps that's due just to the nature of a masquerade party uh, being inherently creepy, but it's it's definitely both so far creepy and fun. Seems pretty well thought out. Has some replayability to it with the random generation and stuff. And shit, it works. I mean, so it's, uh, it's definitely not as buggy as a lot of these types of games that I've played before. So, and again, I mean, anybody who spent more than five minutes on YouTube can see that a lot of, a lot of free indie Unity games don't work hardly.
or if they do barely so um so yeah I'm pretty after, after that sidetrack long uh tangent ramble kind of thing uh I still don't really feel like I'm any closer to figuring out who it is. The only person that I could really think is maybe the doctor. And, you know, maybe I can, uh, I'm sure if I invested a little bit more time into this, that, you know, actual, <laughs> give it the actual, you know, due diligence, due diligence that it deserves, that it, you know, I could find the killer. But... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, take another shot in the dark, the doctor, my first hunch. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say he killed him, cause, and I, unfortunately, I don't want to let anybody down, but, this is as much as I'm gonna be able to play for working on a couple other videos, so, this is it, I guess. We'll see if I am right. That wasn't right. That was not correct. So, um, perhaps I'll come back again a different day and actually, uh, see if I can find who the murderer is. But for right now, I'm just gonna leave it at I'm a very, very shitty detective. So, but, uh, like I said though, a uh, short playthrough aside, uh, very fun game so far, well made for what it is. Great idea. It's free on Game Jam. I'll probably link it, you know, like everybody else does. It seems like the proper thing to do. Because who wants to type things out, right? Google doesn't exist. Uh, but yeah, it would be really cool to see some support for this game. I don't know what the developers have planned in terms for the future, but, you know, hopefully if this game gets exposure, which, you know, adds at the time of recording this uh i haven't seen anybody else play it anybody else talk about it so you know hopefully this game can get more exposure and the developers can move on and maybe improve and make a full-fledged version of something like this which i would definitely pay for and buy gladly because it is a really cool concept thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video uh i apologize for the uh, poor quality of these videos. I'm working on getting better equipment. Uh, I have a USB condenser mic and pop filter coming in the mail. Should be here tomorrow. Should make the audio quality uh, much better. And then with whatever money I have left, this paycheck hopefully, uh, I'll buy a new HD webcam or figure out another. Because I mean, I'm looking. I keep looking at the video quality right now and it's grainy as shit. So uh, hopefully the video will be better. And, um, again, I'm sure y'all are tired of seeing the Bandicam watermark right up at the top of the screen. Uh, hopefully I will actually pay for and support the developers of Bandicam. Uh, I could go the easy route, pirate it, but that's wrong. So, it's a fantastic program and I'm willing to give the people who make it my money. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, yada 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 whatever bullshit's supposed to be there, and hopefully I'll keep making uh, more videos. Fair enough? Okay. Thank you.